Artificial intelligence has passed a new benchmark. Now it knows when to hold them and knows when to fold them. Recently, a computer system called Libratus running on a supercomputer did what no other AI program had managed to do. It defeated three human world champion caliber poker players in a series of no limit Texas Hold'em games. This is a big deal. One of the ways we frame artificial intelligence is how does this AI match up against humans? And frequently we use games to make this measurement. Back in 1997, IBM's Deep Blue chess computer defeated world champion Garry Kasparov in a series of six games. Machine defeated man. Not all games are equal. Games like Tic-Tac-Toe and Connect Four have a finite number of moves, and we humans figured out the algorithms to solve these games. That means we know the outcome of any any game assuming all players are making no mistakes. Tic-tac-toe will always end in a draw assuming perfect play. Connect Four will always see the first player win the game under those conditions. But some games like chess have so many variations and possibilities that solving the game is a non-trivial task. And others like poker are even more difficult because perfect play isn't as easy to define. A good poker player is aware of the statistical likelihood of his or her hand being the best at the table. But great poker players know how to analyze how their opponents play and then they capitalize on any weaknesses they might have. For example, let's say we're playing Texas Hold'em and the three flop cards have been revealed. You hold two queens in your hand. The flop cards are a jack, a king, and a queen. That gives you three of a kind. Now what are the odds I have a better hand? If I held two kings of my own or a 10 and an ace, you'd be in trouble. But are the odds with me or against me? And could my betting behavior give you hints as to what I actually held in my hand? It's not easy for humans and it's really hard for computers to master poker. There's a lot of psychology involved. Going with a purely statistical approach might get you through the early stages of a tournament but it's probably not enough to win the grand prize. How did the AI do it? First, Libratus is a collection of three artificially intelligent processes. One is called reinforcement learning, which is just what it sounds like. Libratus played trillions of games of Texas Hold'em against itself over and over. This is how human players start to get good, though typically we don't have the time to fit in trillions of games in our days. If you don't have an innate sense of odds, playing games and paying attention will give you a feel for how likely any given situation might be. On top of learning the game, Libratus developed its own betting strategy. It made unpredictable choices, which kept human opponents off balance. With no apparent rhyme or reason connected to its decisions, Human players couldn't get a bead on whether Libratus held legitimately awesome cards or was bluffing its transistors off. A second system would analyze gameplay during actual matches. This allowed Libratus to narrow down its playstyle, catering it to go up against whatever humans it faced. And a third system helped keep Libratus's playstyle a surprise to other players. It would analyze how it played throughout a day and identify any patterns that were popping up. Then it would actively instruct the other systems to avoid those patterns in future play. The Libratus of tomorrow won't play like the one you face today, making it even harder for human players to find an advantage. But perhaps the most interesting element to consider here is that Libratus could bluff. It could bet in such a way that human opponents couldn't be sure their cards were superior. A computer that can bluff and not be caught out could be useful in many situations, not necessarily deceptive ones. If a computer can tell when someone else is bluffing, it could aid in business or politics. However, a bluffing computer also reinforces the need for us to develop systems that require machines to explain their decisions. How can you trust a computer's decision if you know it can lie to you? But I believe as long as we are careful and responsible, this evolution in AI can be a huge benefit to us. What are your thoughts about computers that can bluff? I want to hear them in the comments below. Big thanks to Toyota for sponsoring this episode. If you enjoyed it, hit that little like button down there. 
And make sure you subscribe to this channel to join the forward-thinking think tank. I'll see you guys in the future.